Good evening. A century of car manufacturing at Longbridge is coming to an end. The Chinese owners of MG have announced it's closing what's left of their assembly line in Birmingham. The company is seeking to streamline costs and centralise global distribution. It's 11 years since mass production ended at Longbridge when MG Rover went into administration. Our reporter Bob Hockenhull is there for us now. Bob, only 25 jobs at risk, but this seems to be a very symbolic moment in car, car uh, manufacturing in the Midlands. Yes, Mary, it was 1906 when Herbert Austin made the first car on this Longbridge site. Since then, there's been almost continuous production. Even after the demise of Rover, three MG models have been made or assembled here, at least, under Chinese ownership. Well, there'll be still 300 design engineering jobs here, but the assembly is going. Well, earlier I asked a company spokesman if Brexit and the value of the pound had been a deciding factor. We've been looking at the, the operation here for a long time now. Um, and quite frankly, it's been costing us money to, to run that part of the operation. The reality is that post-Brexit and changing currency, um, it probably was the, the, one of the final straws that made us take the decision to, to end um, in, in its entirety. Well, with me now is the MP for Northfield, Richard Burden. Richard, has this come out of the blue? Is it a total shock? Well, it's very disappointing that MG have made this decision, and I think it's premature. I don't, you know, I'm not going to say they've not got problems. They have been hit by the drop in the value of the pound, and the cost of their importing of the kits from China is actually causing a problem with them. But they could and they should have been talking to the government, to me, to the council, about how we can build on the good story here, which is a research and development centre, and how we can cluster more activities around that. Making a decision to end assembly in advance of that, I think is a real mistake, as well as obviously being a tragedy for those who lose their jobs. Briefly, though, they say they have been trying to talk to the government. In fact, they were only talking to the business secretary this week. And that meeting, both he and I, made an appeal to them to actually get round the table to talk properly. To actually have discussions about discussions is one thing. To actually have the talks is another. They haven't yet taken place. Richard Burden, thank you very much. Well, whatever the, uh, the, the theories behind the discussions, it's certainly a sad day here at Longbridge. Bob Hockenhull, thank you. The mother of two